Yes, yes sister, most welcome. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Amuta. I'm working in Indian Embassy. So I just want, I have a lot of questions, but for time being, I'm saying little bit questions. So in Islam, why there is no caste system? Yes, sister. Okay, my second question. Sister, ask the first question. Okay. After I reply, you can ask the second question. Okay, fine. Give me the answer. Sister, ask the question, why in Islam there's no caste system? Because in Islam, we believe that all the human beings are equal, unlike in Hinduism. Quran says, Quran says in Surah Hujurat, chapter 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakin wa unsa wa ja'alnaakum shu'uba wa qaba'ila litarafu inna kramakum inda la yatkaakum inna la alimun khabir O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other, not you shall despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person as taqwa. The criteria for judgment in the sight of Almighty God for a human being to be superior to the other human being, it's not sex, it's not caste, it's not color, it's not wealth, it's not age, but it is taqwa, it is God consciousness, it is piety, it is righteousness. The only way one human being can be superior to the other human being, it's not by wealth, it's not by age, it's not by sex, but it is by piety, it is by God consciousness, it is by righteousness. Unlike Hinduism, when we read the Vedas, it's mentioned that Almighty God, He created the Brahmin class, the learned class from the head. That's the first caste. Then He created the warrior class, the Kshatriyas, from the chest. Then from His stomach and thighs, He created the business community, the Vaishyas. And from the feet, He created the Shudras, that's the untouchables, that's the lower caste. So this is what is mentioned in the Vedas. In Islam, we believe that all the human beings are equal. We don't believe that one human being is superior to the other human being because of birth, because of profession, because of wealth, because of color, because of caste. So Islam is a universal religion. Unlike in the Vedas, what they say that you have to stick to your profession. Because, you know, it was mainly controlled by the Brahmins, which is again, small percentage minute percentage and they say that if you're born as a shudra you remain a shudra you serve the brahmin next life maybe you may become a better person no this is all ideology so that you know they want to keep the person low person will remain low and the rich and the top people remain top in islam we believe in equality and islam is religion for all the human beings that is the reason islam is against caste system hope that answers the question sister But one question has always uh, been not really understood by me. The definition of Allah.